You're locked in to Bioware Pulse. I'm David Silverman. Last Thursday, Bioware kicked off the Mass Effect 3 Space Edition program by launching weather balloons strapped with early copies of the game from China Beach, San Francisco. Unfortunately, due to unforeseen weather conditions, both balloons were blown off course and ended up in Seaside, California, in between Half Moon Bay and Santa Cruz. The first balloon landed 150 feet in the air, nestled deep inside the West Waddle Canyon State Park. The second balloon landed 200 feet in the air, and it was trapped just off of White House Canyon Road, also in the West Waddle Canyon State Park. Now this area where the second balloon was also known to be infested with wildcats and with deep, heavy thicket and brush. After spending six hours trying to recover the second balloon, and despite best efforts from Bioware, IGN, and the community trying to get the first balloon out of the tree, Bioware decided that both launches were unrecoverable and posted a message on Saturday at 8 a.m. that the recovery program entirely would be canceled due to harsh and extreme conditions. Not heeding the warning from Bioware or EA and determined to make history and become one of the very first to get an early copy of Mass Effect 3 Eliseo Carranza decided to throw caution to the wind to become the very first person to assemble his crew and recover the second balloon. Eliseo, welcome to Bioware Pulse. Oh, why, thank you. <laughs> so tell us what happened. I tried the first time to climb the tree, and I only got about halfway up. Well, I'm a heavy guy, so it took, the branches started bra breaking as soon as I started climbing up. And then uh, I knew at that point that I wouldn't be able to make it all the way up without getting down and hurting myself. So I came back down. And that's when I called my brother and said, hey, we need to get out here. You can climb it. And finally, when we get up there, just it was just amazing. The open clearing. And as soon as we just got up there, looked around, saw the tree, boom, there it was. And from then on, it was just instant energy, just trying to get it, just gunning it. Now, were you surprised when you opened the cooler that there actually were copies of Mass Effect 3? Well, I was, uh, I was surprised. First of all, when my brother went up there, we were thinking it's just one copy, so it's first come, first serve. We're like, all right, it's just one. My brother went up there, so he's going to keep the copy. you know. And then after a while, he, we hear him yell, you guys are going to be surprised. Uh, all of you guys are going to be happy. And we're like, what is it? And he just wouldn't say. He came back down. We opened it. Ten copies were in there. We're just like, oh, my goodness. And it was just amazing. So you actually had a whole team that helped you. Let's, let's see the rest of the team that's, that you brought with you today. Uh, we have the climber, which is my brother, Iran Carranza. And we also had the other trackers who actually brought food and water. Uh, they actually came in behind us, but were a huge help. They actually had flashlights. We have Dustin and Ted, Ted and, Heidi. and Heidi. And it was amazing. I mean, if it wasn't for them, we probably would have ran out of water. And I was, but we, none of us had food since that morning. Like by the time we were heading out, it was actually super dark. The, the, it was foggy, right? It was foggy and uh, getting out through the thick bush, we, we couldn't actually track back to where we came from. So we had to make a whole new set patrol, which made it even tougher. So it was instead of taking us an hour, half an hour to 45 minutes to get back out, it actually took us about two and two and a half hours, right, to get back out. So by the time we got out, it was almost nine o'clock at night. Now I hear, I hear uh, some of you got poison oak in the eyes. Yeah, I actually, I actually got poison oak in my eyes, on my lips, hands, just everywhere. Places you don't want to get poison oak. <laughs> at the end of the day, you got Mass Effect. Is it worth it? Totally worth it. All the way. What do you think? Amazing. Definitely amazing. All right, guys. Well, hey, we, we appreciate the efforts. As you saw, we, we called off the launch. We deemed it impossible. You guys have proven that true fan passion can overcome all obstacles. Thank you guys so much and really appreciate it. We have uh, some extra parting gifts for you guys. And really, again, thank you so much for the great efforts. And continue. Hopefully, you take that effort. You take Commander Shepard and you take back Earth from the Reapers. Thank you guys so much. For Byra Pulse, I'm David Silverman reminding you to keep your fingers on the pulse. See you later.